Okay, so this is part two, and I'm gonna be trying to go over everything that I've learned so far, some fixes, some troubleshooting again. So let's get into it. We're gonna be first going with automatically downloading from the server that you've made. So this will be allowing other people to click the install all button, and then they'll be able to just join after downloading all your cars. So you wanna put cm underscore content as a new folder inside here you're going to be making a file you could start by right clicking make a new and then a text document and then name it the content dot j s o n and take the txt out if you can't see the ends of what a uh, file is. I believe you go to view, change, and then you can show hidden files, folders, and then it says hide extension for known file types, unclick that. So now you can see the .json or .exe or .txt. So I already made mine. I'm gonna just drag it over to here. Once you've made this, open it up. And if it doesn't automatically open with notepad plus plus just put open with always use this app more apps scroll all the way down look for it and then find where you've placed it on your computer this is the format for how we're going to be inputting cars and it's only one map so we're only going to have one map here but you're going to take this copy it and paste it a couple of times where the quotation marks are is where your cars are going to go, the car name. The URL is going to be the actual link and the version, you can specify which specific version, but if you don't know or if you don't care, you could leave it blank. So the first way of doing this is going to find out which cars we need. So let's go into content. Cars, or let's start with our track. This track is the correct track, but we don't even need to, um, we don't need to be giving files from the server side. We actually need to be giving it from content manager side. So these cars on the entry list is where you're going to get the car files that you use to add into here. So let's just say the M4. Go right click and press folder and now you have this file we don't we know that it's an m4 it's named in this way don't change the way it's named right click and then add to archive or just add to this and wait for it to compress and when you scroll all the way down it'll be right here do that for all of your cars regardless if they're traffic or usable just do that for all of them and then you're going to want to create an account with mega uploads right now i have two servers and their cars in here and i'm not sure if uh, the same car is in here the m4 i don't believe so there's a m4 comp I'm trying to find a car that is the same on both lists. Let's see this one. This is just a BMW M3, big turbo. So you would take this file and drag it into over here, wherever it's going to be. And it would turn into um, a file that you could share. It's a .rar file or a .zip file, either way it works. You'll go and copy the name of the folder that you originally found it in. So if you like copy this as a underscore m4. And the name goes here. Then we'll copy the link and put the link in here. 
and that's all you need. I'll take these out because I don't want to do these as an example. I want to be a little lazy, but the same way would apply for every new car that you have. You would copy, paste this, put the new folder name, put the URL that the folder is going to. Let's do the track. So we have the tracks. This is my only track here. Manage the link. I already have the name here. I just need the URL. And then save. Doing just that will allow you to have automatic downloads for your server. A big thing about the ordering of your cars is that you need to have player accessible cars at the top of your list. If you have the traffic cars at the top of the list, the spawning on the map won't be correct. You'll spawn at a different spawn because you've taken up all these spawning slots with AI cars. So have all of your cars here on the top of the list. You could go into Content Manager, drag and drop, and reorder the files manually. Or you can go into the entry list and cut this and then paste it all the way at the end and then cut another one and then paste it all the way in the front. Both are a little tedious but they're worth it to do. This entry list as you can see is not really good. It uh, has the traffic in the front and then regular cars in the just scattered around but this is not how you're supposed to do it have your cars up here and traffic cars at the bottom so that's a big thing for spawning if you're having troubles with your skybox if your skybox is completely stock or stuck in blue change it to weather fx and put whatever whatever you want. Like let's say uh, scattered clouds. If you want to change the time, it's here, not here. Same with the time multiplier and the specific date. You change the settings within weather FX settings, which is three dots. And when your session is finished. So when 12 hours is up, you'll be able to put a new weather if you really wish, like heavy sleep or smoke. There are a lot of settings that you're going to need to use content manager for and come back to it. And so doing so might be a little problematic because you don't want to make a whole new server. So we're going to replace certain aspects of the file from one place to another. If you want to use a different track, you're going to have to kind of wing it a little. There's the PTB one here. If you want to use this one, I am not 100% certain it's compatible with the AI track. And the workaround I've found around that is you have to put your track as the new one the overload layout, press OK. And once you've packed everything, so the track has now been changed, this list has now been changed, uh, the conditions also are changed. Now you can pack this onto your desktop, you're only gonna have it there temporarily. Okay, now that it's finished packing, we're going to go into the entry list and now all the cars have been ordered but you don't have the uh, AI command. There's no real fast way to fix that. You just have to copy or don't even need to copy, but you just need to replace it. And now you're gonna have to put the AI equals none or fixed for the cars now. Again, make sure to have this command. This enables teleport and color changes. We're good with the entry list. Now let's go to the CSP extra options. These 
commands or to enable rain. Color changes, allowing the wrong way. Um, in pits, this one I haven't changed, but you can do that. This allows the rain and you want to change with physics to one to activate it. Then change the intensity from zero to one and you can use increments of 0.1. And you could save. Our server configuration is now going to be different. We could exit all of these. Take, let's open up server here and then let's open up this one as well and we notice there's a difference at the bottom part we're just going to take our weather and copy it and I'm going to take these extra weather options as well save. If the weather options are giving you troubles, take out the wind variation uh, for some weather effects and the server will start. If you're ever getting an error for any variations. Now if you go and you move your map and you have that different map, what you're going to just need to do simply is rename and take the last digits off, the last characters, and that underscore, and just have it named exactly like this. Also, the AI folder goes one folder in the track. It doesn't go with the overload layout. I have this one here, that one doesn't do anything. This one is the one. If your AI spline is mismatched, that means the track that you've used content manager with and then installed it into here is not the same one you're joining on so you have this somewhere where the name isn't matching so you have to make it the beta even if it's not the beta if you're if it just says you need a new ai uh, file then you can delete this and replace it If your tracks are having an issue, sometimes there are two folders here. One will be a track and one will be just another ghost file and I'll have one overload layout folder, you could delete that. And remember, just put an AI file in the actual track, not the overload layout. We're in the game, we have rain and our skybox is really well done. And if you see, when we move or stop, the raindrops actually move. And that's because we enabled the physics. If you guys want to teleport or see people on the map, clearly, it's very easy to teleport like this. This is called the comfy map. I'll put the link in the description. Just download and simply install in Content Manager. You don't need to enable it, it'll already be enabled. You just go to your apps and then you'll search for them and they'll be here. That way you're able to teleport and you can spectate people just by clicking on them. I think that is everything. Um, keeping the AI in order so that you can spawn in your spawns. Make sure the AI folder is in the correct place. If you want your weather box to be fixed, it's in your server config, the weather FX settings, the CSP extra settings, enable rain and color changes. And you can place different maps and tracks with the AI file as long as you rename it to this track. Use Notepad++ when opening so you can see everything very clearly. 
and enjoy having a server. Uh, if you need anything, just let me know, leave a comment, and uh, I'll link a Discord that's pretty helpful in uh, having issues with this.